Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna do a tips and tricks video, but we're gonna talk a little bit more on pricing. We had a lot of uh, customers um, and also a lot of viewers uh, ask us about pricing and kind of where to go about getting uh, customers from and all of that. If you haven't seen my other video on pricing, um, definitely click the uh, link below and it's in the description and you'll be able to see that as well as, uh, so this is gonna be more or less just a continuation of kinda a little bit of pricing and also mainly how to get jobs. Where did we start at? Where do you go? What do you do? You know, um, we've had a lot of questions about that and so we pretty much decided, you know what, let's make a video on it. Um, let's kind of explain a little bit on, you know, what has worked for us, what has not worked for us. Um, and then that way you can, you know, hopefully get out there, drum up some more business, uh, get your business started, get it going, and pretty much, you know, um, start creating a successful business. Um, so kind of a little bit uh, getting started, pretty much inevitably everybody's going to be different you know everybody's going to have different things that they are going to um, want to get started in some customers only want to do uh, skulls like deer skulls and bear skulls and you know coyote skulls and things like that so they're going to be going for a different demographic than like a customer that is wanting to do all of uh, say a race car or um, car parts and things like that so you know the first thing is is just finding out what do you want to do who is your target audience is it people who enjoy cars is it people who enjoy hunting is it um, production runs is it you know what exactly is it um, at first whenever we first got into this uh, we pretty much wanted to just get anything you know because of course we're starting up you know we just want any business so that way we can just kind of just get anything coming in the door to help um, uh, offset any of the costs that we have with of course starting a business um, as it rolled along everything uh, started to become a lot more clear on which direction that we wanted to go with our business you know did we want to go aftermarket did we want to go oem uh, production whichever um, and that's something that you're going to have to sit down and of course think about and look at and just see like what is your business going to entail what customers are you going to want um, so once you figure that out then you have to figure out where do those people go so in our case we wanted to focus more on the aftermarket side and as well as a lot more in probably um, the uh, car scenes and of course uh, hunting so for us uh, what we ended up doing was is we did a lot of of course number one gun shows um, most of the gun shows around here are fairly cheap and inexpensive so you can get a table get a booth set up of course the biggest thing with any of these setups is um, make sure that you have good quality samples. Uh, I know a lot of people that I've seen, um, and I've seen this happen a lot of times, they're in a hurry, they don't really have a lot of time to do samples, and so then they just hurry through it, and uh, they have them, but they're not really that great. And, um, you know, the, the thing about it is, is that customers who are walking by your table you've got to show them good examples because if not then they may talk to you but you're not going to get a lot of people that are interested in that um, the other thing is is that you know take the time sit down do all the samples that you need and make sure that they come out right you know if you got a little bit of stretch into here but you're like oh it'll be fine no go ahead and redo it because you want to make sure that you want to show the customers that you do good quality work and so if you're going to do it on your customer's job where okay that would be a redo then it needs to be shown on the sample pieces so definitely make sure you have good quality samples the other thing is is of course um, have a variety of a lot of different things because not everybody loves camouflage not everybody loves carbon fiber but um, if you have a lot of different stuff all laid out right there then 
that really helps the customer kind of see what all you can do as well as you know how well your product is and so of course the other thing is is uh, your samples are gonna sell yourself so you know if your samples don't look that great then of course your work is not gonna look as good and then the customer may or may not want to use you as a business to do the work that they're wanting to do. So it's all kind of like a trickle effect. You gotta make sure that everything is set up the way that it needs to be. So the next thing to kind of remember is that you want to make sure that you're getting to the right audience. So like I was saying before, you know, we did a lot of gun shows. We had our FFL and we, of course, we still do. So, um, you know, we was able to get a lot of customers for the gun shows and get their guns in, do everything that they needed to do. Uh, the other thing is, is, of course, you know, we also went to um, different events as far as like hunting events. You know, that was a really big thing for us as well. Um, so that's another thing that you can do so uh, if you have like a, a big buck classic or you know something like that uh, of course here that's kind of what we had went to for like a really large group of things um, and of course you can always do car shows so car shows are really great to get out there show your business show people what you do because inevitably people love to customize their car and so if they want to customize it you definitely want to make sure that you get in front of those people because they also have the the want to um, pretty much customize anything that they can because uh, they're either rebuilding a car or they're fixing up one that they've already got or something like that or you know they just want a, a factory wood grain finish you know back looking like it was back either in the 70s or the 80s or you know anything like that so um, there's always a lot of people excuse me, people that want those things, but you just gotta get in front of those things. Um, the, the other thing that worked out really well for us, of course, other than going to the events, meeting the people, things like that, um, the other thing that worked really well was, was of course, you know, having an online presence. Um, so, you know, the other thing is, is like, we may not talk over the phone, but a customer can still go to my website and see all of our stuff that we do, things like that. So, you know, you also need to have a website. Now, does it have to be a, a ten or $20,000 website? No, it doesn't. Um, you can easily get by with a cheaper website, but you just gotta make sure that it looks professional and everything like that, because inevitably, here's the thing. A lot of customers that drive, say, a higher-end car, you know, they have McLarens and Lamborghinis and Porsches, they go onto a website and they look at it and it looks like it was built in about two days and they got about $20 in the whole website, they're going to kind of think about, well, is it really worth sending all my parts to this customer or to this business to have them coat my stuff? Now, yeah, sometimes you might get a yes, sometimes you might get a no that's all dependent on the customer but it's also the perception of you do good quality work you have a good quality understanding of your business and you want to perceive that to the customer themselves so um, that's the other thing that you definitely want to make sure of is, is that you know with everything in general everything is cohesive everything looks professional everything is professional hopefully with the way that you've started out your business the way that you do your sampling the way that you do all of your parts in general and that way the customers know that whenever you give them a price of X amount of dollars that they know that you know they're gonna feel confident enough to give you their parts because they are getting a good quality job. And that's at the end of the day, what everybody wants is a good quality job for the parts at a reasonable price. Um, so the other thing that's really helped us out a lot as well um, here recently, like I was saying, is um, definitely the social media. We've gotten a lot of people on social media that has contacted us. Uh, we'll post a picture of a gun or we'll post a picture of some wheels or something like that. And customers are like, oh, I want that or, oh, I want this. So definitely having a good social presence is really key to helping grow everything in general. Um, the, the other thing is, is that 
don't expect it to grow overnight. Um, inevitably, we've been in this for probably going on about 10 years or so, uh, 10 or 12, something like that. At this point, it just feels like I've been in it forever. <laughs> so, um, but the, the thing about it is, is that, you know, we didn't start out with this humongous shop. We didn't start out with all of this equipment. We didn't start out with all that stuff. You know, we started out in a shed in a backyard. Um, so you can definitely start there and continually grow your business from there all the way through. Um, and that's the biggest thing is that, you know, you don't want to try to go and land a, a humongous job for Benelli or something like that where you're dipping, um, you know, 500 guns a month or something you know that might be a little bit far stretch for one person to do so you know the other thing is of course know your limits on what you need to do and also try to keep your time frames all within a good range because inevitably the last thing that a customer wants is is that you tell them oh yeah I can get that done in say two weeks and then two months later it's still not done guess what? The customer's probably not going to be happy about that. So, you know, trying to keep everything managed and all that is definitely critical as well in getting your business started, knowing where to go with it, as well as keeping the customers happy. So, um, pretty much kind of a quick recap, you know, for us, like I said, we do, we have done a lot of the um, uh, social media that has helped us out a lot on getting customers. Um, also going to events, uh, even free events from like the cities and even going to parades and things like that. Just getting your name out there, showing people what you do, um, you know, doing those things like that, getting out in the public, that's going to be the biggest thing on showing people what what you can do and things like that as well as you know if you're wanting to get into the automotive scene then start doing stuff on your own personal company truck or your personal truck or anything like that so then that way whenever people are at the gas station and you've dipped your wheels people are like hey what is that and then they start asking about it and then that guy starts telling other people and then it's a trickle effect from there going down and again like I said it's not gonna start um, just overnight and it's not going to just blow up overnight but it will start to bring in more and more business as more people start talking about your business and what you do as well as doing good quality work um, so like I was saying you know the other things that we've done is trade shows so whatever trade show that um, that you have in whatever area that you're doing so whether it be in the automotive field or in you know um, the hunting field or in any of those fields like that uh, any trade shows that you can go to that are local um, definitely try to hit those up if they're within budget and within reason just because there's always going to be customers that are always going to be around those shows so of course those customers can possibly be your customers so you want to get them capture them show them what you can do wow them on all of your samples and just the work that you do and then that way hopefully you'll make a couple of uh, you know a, get a couple of clients out of that and then it will hopefully pay for itself and then continue on down the road and pretty much just like a snowball effect it just continually grows and grows as as you um, progress throughout the the time in the business so other thing is is um, just word of mouth um, that has been a really big effect on us um, of course uh, smaller um, cities and things like that it's gonna be a little bit harder but for like larger cities that you get out there a lot you show people a lot on what you do and how you do it the quality of your work um, that's going to be a big play because a lot of people are going to tell friends and family and things like that and then of course those people are going to possibly give you a call or contact you or let you know hey um, I'd like to get something done you know so uh, that's definitely a big a big thing as well that's really helped us out on this so um, I know I kind of talked a lot, rambled a lot, um, and it's not our normal um, video that we normally do, but kind of want to just sit down, kind of share some things with you on what has helped, uh, you know, what has helped us out a lot in growing our business to what y'all have seen just pretty much 
in the videos and things like that and um, you know if I missed anything definitely let me know in the comments or if you've got something that's really worked great for you I'd love to hear about it um, you know we're always open to ideas and of course what works for me may not work for you or you know you might get a, a different version of that so um, definitely let me know what's worked for you in the past and um, you know we'd love to hear from you hopefully this video has helped you out a lot like I said I know it's a lot of talking but um, you know sometimes you just have to and that's just the the way that it is sometimes and, and it's just a lot easier like that so um, I'm Brian from liquid concepts and this is how we customize your world we'll see you guys next time.